Hi, Brent Tech here, where tech is made simple. So Google recently rolled out Chrome version 116, which is our latest release. And starting in Chrome version 117, the browser will now let you know when an extension that you have installed is no longer in the Chrome Web Store or it's a problematic or unsafe extension. Now, Chrome version 117 will be rolling out uh, around about the middle of next month, September. And um, this change... Google says is limited to three specific cases and will be limited to three specific scenarios. Number one, if the extension has been unpublished by the developer. Number two, if the extension has been taken down for violating the Chrome Web Store policy. And number three, if the item or extension was marked as malware or malicious. Now, the whole reason this change is being made in our next major version upgrade for Chrome, Google says um, they have designed this change to keep the ecosystem safe for users while limiting the chances that this will impact genuine extensions. So that's the reason why Google are making this change. And they also mention that if an, ex an issue is resolved regarding an extension, uh, the notification then will be automatically cleared. Now, just to put this all into context, if we head over to two screenshots provided by Google from this announcement, um, you will see this feature in the privacy and security section on the settings page when version 117 rolls out. It will be here just underneath the safety check tool as part of that module. And in this example, it says review two extensions that were taken down from the Chrome Web Store. Now, yeah, you'll see um, if we click on review, uh, you will then be taken to um, these extensions and given the choice to either remove the extension or hide the warning if you wish to keep the extension or extensions installed. Uh, and Google does say that as in previous versions of Chrome, as is always the case, extensions marked as malware are automatically disabled. And in this example, we see two extensions that are no longer present in the Chrome Web Store. So this is what the feature will be all about. Now, as mentioned, this is rolling out in Chrome version 117. But the good news is that if you are running version 116, which as mentioned is the current stable release, you can enable this feature in the browser um, already. So if you want to test this feature before it becomes officially available in our next version upgrade, we can do so in the current stable release. Now, it's not a default feature and it's hidden behind an experimental flag called safety check extensions. So if you are comfortable to fiddle with, the, uh, with uh, experimental flags, head up to the Omnibox and enter uh, enter chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. That's chrome colon forward slash forward slash flags. Then in the search, just enter this flag, safety check extensions. The, the extension is called extensions module in safety check. The description reads, when enabled, adds the extensions module to safety check on desktop. The module will be shown if there are potentially unsafe extensions to review, as I mentioned. Now we change the default as always to enabled, and then we will have to relaunch Chrome 116 to apply that flag. And now you will see that when we head back to our settings and our privacy and security page, if you have any so-called unsafe extensions or uh, extensions that are no longer in the Chrome Web Store, you will see that module appear here as part of the safety check module as mentioned. So this is where it will be located in the stable version. And I think it's a nice move when um, the tool uh, rolls out in version 117 because and um, what it will do is it as google is saying it will just um keep the the, the, the so-called quality extensions available and limit um the chances that this will impact genuine extensions which i think is a nice move in the right direction so that's starting in chrome 117 any unsafe extensions or extensions that are no longer available you will now see that notice in the browser so thanks for watching and i will see you in the next one